The shadow box that I'm showing you right now is uh, kind of a, a favorite of mine. It's hard to pick out a favorite because I've made literally thousands, but I really like this one because it's rustic, it's rural, it's nostalgic, and it reminds me a little bit of my dad and mom who have gone home to be with Jesus. Um, but it reminds me of them because both dad and mom were born in 1914. And then um, they shared a lot about what life was like when they were growing up. And I remember them both telling me about the um, horse-drawn ice wagon, delivery wagon that would go around to houses and take blocks of ice in to, uh, you know, put into the uh, ice boxes of uh, people. And I, I remember both of them saying that the ice man was always seemed like a real gentle, kind man, and he'd break off pieces of ice to uh, to give to them to snack on on very, very hot summer days. Well, I also this isn't an ice wagon in this one. This is a, a milk delivery wagon, but um, it's the same scenario. And while I was a kid, while it wasn't being delivered by horse and buggy, I remember the milkman coming to our house um, every couple of days. Um, yeah, you could buy milk in the stores, but I remember him coming to the house. Mom would always order, of course, a couple gallons of milk because my brothers, Frank and Bill, were big milk drinkers. And then um, she always ordered cottage cheese for herself, and sometimes she ordered ice cream from him. That was a, um, a, a delivery man that lived in Bridgeport. I wish I could think of his name right now, because he was also township supervisor. Um, at that uh, at that same time, um, but he it was a Borden's uh, company, Borden uh, Borden Dairy Products. I also like this scene because uh, cast iron toys were popular in the late 1800s, and uh, well, this is not a an original. It was made in the 1970s, and even those now that were being produced in the 1970s are have become very collectible. But also in this scene, if you look at the milk wagon, you'll see that there are the um, heads of a of um, three, I think it is, three or four small uh, dolls from, again, from the era of 1890, 1915, right in that area. And they were broken, and the only things that were remaining were the heads. These were found by my good friend Gil Barry Alberg. No, I said that wrong, Barry Gil Alberg, <laughs> um, here in Saginaw, and he dug them up. Um, and I, I like being able to incorporate those things into my displays because they deserve a place. They were loved once by some little kid who played with them, and I think they still deserve a place in uh, in the home. And then too, in this scene you'll see on the right hand side a sunshine baker man who's a salt and pe pepper shaker probably 1940s uh, maybe 1950s. I couldn't find someone or a small figure that looked like a milk wagon delivery figure whatever that would look like. Uh, so I decided to use the sunshine baker man as the uh, driver of the wagon to deliver uh, the milk. So I hope that you'll enjoy these images um, as much as I enjoyed making this 3D shadow box. If you're interested in shadow boxes and you have something you'd like crafted into one, I do that quite often for people. So uh, drop me an email here on uh, YouTube. Let me know what you've got and uh, what you're looking for. And perhaps I can build a personalized shadow box just for you. Okay, again, hope you enjoyed this. Have a great evening, and God bless.